Okay guys and gals, so quite some time ago I actually made a video about how to make DIY polyurethane engine mounts. If you want to see that video, it's right here. Now that video actually got a lot of views, I think more than 700,000 views, and I'm very happy about that of course. But what that video raised is, it raised some very interesting questions. Now in the comments section, a lot of people asked me two things. Number one is, how my polyurethane engine mounts held up? Were there any cracks? Did they fail? And number two, how, did my po how do my polyurethane engine mounts compare to the stock engine mounts? Now those are two very good and very interesting questions, but I was not able to answer them until today because I honestly never drove this car with the, with the stock engine mounts and I had no stock engine mounts to install in my car and compare them to my polyurethane ones. Now, actually, as I said, that has changed today because just a few days ago, I actually bought a set of stock engine mounts for my MR2 Mark I. And what I did today is I recorded, I you know, kept my polyurethane ones in, and while they were still in, I recorded noise, I recorded vibration inside the cabin, and I recorded the engine movement when giving the car some throttle. I also then took a drive with the polyurethane engine mounts, then I came back into my garage, then I took uninstalled, you know, took, took my polyurethane engine mounts off, and as you can see, they're here, and installed my new stock engine mounts in. And then I did the same thing. I recorded noise, I recorded vibration, I recorded engine movement, and then I took another drive with the car to compare the polyurethane engine mounts and the stock engine mounts. So what the result is, now the result is, I think that's some, something that still isn't there on YouTube, is a very comprehensive detailed comparison of stock engine mounts and polyurethane engine mounts. Now I'm not going to bother you with talking anymore, I'm actually first I'm going to show you the footage, you know, right next to each other on a split screen, how do the polyurethane mounts compare to the stock ones in terms of noise, vibration and engine movement, and then I'm going to give you some of my impressions that I had in my back-to-back -back drives with both types of the mounts. Okay, so a few impressions from my back-to-back -back drives with the polyurethane and the stock engine mounts. Now, if you actually decide to install polyurethane engine mounts in your car, unfortunately the first thing you're going to notice and the first thing you're going to experience is going to be the disadvantages of polyurethane engine mounts. Now, those disadvantages are going to be obvious to anyone and those are going to be increased noise, 
and increase vibrations inside your cabin now driving daily in normal you know daily driving conditions or whatever uh, polyurethane engine mounts are actually and I have to be honest about this are pretty annoying now if you're driving around a city you know after five minutes all the rattles inside your cabin and all the noise you know is going to be pretty much a, a nuisance especially if you have a loud exhaust you will notice that the, the you know the sound of your engine and your exhaust is going to be transferred differently into your cabin with the polyurethane engine mounts and it's not going to sound as nice or as crisp as with the stock engine mounts now <coughs> where polyurethane engine mounts actually come into their own and where they you know realize their advantages is when you start to drive aggressively and when you start to drive you know uh, I guess on twisty curvy roads or when you overtake a lot you know or in similar situations where you get to experience their you know their benefits one of the first things that I noticed noticed when I was driving with the polyurethane engine mounts when compared to the stock ones was for example when I drove you know at the low rpms and then suddenly for the throttle that the engine seemed to react faster and it seemed to react better with the polyurethane engine mounts now what I actually also did is I did you know timed runs with both the polyurethane engine mounts and the stock ones and I have to say there was you know no noticeable difference there uh, polyurethane engine mounts will not increase the amount of horsepower that is transferred to the wheels you know whatever anyone might say you can install the stiffest mounts possible but the you know the amount of, of power transferred to the wheels will remain the same the only thing that changes you know is the way your car feels and the way your power delivery feels to you as the driver of the car now so to conclude and then to sum it up um, if you plan to you know drive your car mostly on the streets and maybe do a track day once a year twice a year I have to say that polyurethane engine mounts are not worth it because what you will be doing is you'll be harnessing their disadvantages instead of their advantages you will be mostly you know suffering from you know the vibrations and the noise and be annoyed by it and you won't experience you know their benefits now if you have a car that is you know a weekend warrior or a track toy or something that is going to see a lot of track usage I have to say that polyurethane engine mounts are definitely a good idea because you know you will harness all of their benefits but you know their their disadvantages are just going to be a, a side effect that is not going to be very important polyurethane engine mounts are finally out of the car and I'm happy to say that they are undamaged and none of them have any cracks I don't know if you can see that everything is intact same goes with this guy so everything is tight same with this guy I know they're kind of ugly and messy but they are DIY very cheap and you can see. so still 100% intact not knock any of the pins out. Okay guys, so that will be pretty much it for today. I hope you liked the video. As always, don't forget to share, comment, like and subscribe. I appreciate that. It helps me make better videos. And that's it. Until next time, see ya!